Side in this cold, blustery Carolina day. A little bit of snow overnight in our higher elevations as we start to come down from that winter storm watch. Ooh, that looks cold right there. This is the summit of Beach Mountain right now where there is quite a bit of snow thanks to overnight. Well, back down here in the Queen City, we're just looking ahead to some good cold rain for the weekend. Let's check back in with Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane on when and where where this wet weather is going to hit. Yes, boy, it's a different world up there in sure. the mountains. But uh, I know the difference is as we head into the weekend, we actually are talking about that wintry precipitation dropping out of the mountains and moving through mainly the foothills. And even, yes, for you all, some icy conditions expected there in those higher elevations. So we'll break it all down. But today it's beautiful outside of the mountains. We've got that sunny sky 50 degrees. It's chilly and, of course, making it feel even colder as that wind that has been picking up today out of the north northeast about 10 to 15 miles per hour. But dew points are still nice and dry. We've got those chillier spots low to mid 40s along the I-40 corridor and it is cold below freezing up there in the mountains with the lower 50s down through upstate South Carolina and east into Rockingham. So high pressure taking over behind a front, our next developing system, the one that we're tracking heading into the weekend. Notice some snow wrapping in and even a little pink showing up at times and rain on the warmer side of the system. We have that headed our way for Saturday. So tonight we are still nice and dry. No worries about any wintry weather just yet. Nice and clear. Plenty of stars overhead. Temperatures in the morning will be frigid. I mean, we're talking upper teens in the mountains and widespread low to mid 20s from Statesville down through Charlotte, about 25 degrees to kick off the day and more mid to upper 20s off to the south and east. Only 49 tomorrow afternoon, despite the fact that we'll see lots of sunshine to wrap up the week. Again, the main event happens on Saturday and mainly in the morning is when we're going to have that icy impact in several neighborhoods. The rain actually starts to move out. Later, we get into the afternoon and setting the stage for a nice and drier second half of the weekend, a little milder Sunday, too, with those highs back in the 50s. So winter storm watch in effect. This will be for tomorrow night into Saturday afternoon. Notice it does not include the Charlotte area south and east, where it's expected to be mostly just that cold rain. So icing, and that is the main concern with that winter storm watch in the mountains and down through the foothills. Again, the timing will be overnight while we're sleeping tomorrow night. That moisture starts to work in from the south and west into Saturday. The mountains we're looking at possibly a little bit of snow early, then more of a sleet or freezing rain mix before it changes over, even for you all in the mountains, to that cold rain into the afternoon. Foothills, mainly just ice, freezing rain where it falls as rain and then it freezes on contact on those elevated surfaces. We could have a little bit of a sleet mix. Again, Charlotte area, south and east, mostly rain. So we're looking at really a minor to moderate impact event here. And notice the orange showing up, a little bit of a higher impact where we could see more of that developing icy glaze. And you know how it goes. It piles up on some of those tree limbs and power lines that could lead to some scatter powered outages in the mountains and foothills into Saturday and watching out for some slick icy spots developing on the roads and those bridges and overpasses because remember they always freeze first elevated surfaces. So let's check it out on future cast again tomorrow morning into the afternoon. The only thing we'll start to see is more clouds working in from the south and west. But notice all of that purple and pink showing up mountains and foothills. I plotted the temperatures here too. So wherever we're at or below freezing, that's where we're looking at that potential of that light icy glaze. So more north and west of Charlotte, north and west of the ID5 corridor. But even after it starts as that icy mix, notice how it changes over to the yellow and the green, indicating some heavy at times, just cold rain. By lunchtime, early part of the afternoon, as I said, by 3, 4, 5 o'clock, most of the rain over and done with its lifting out. And then we could see another round of mountain snow going into Sunday morning. So the icy forecast here, we're looking at up to about a quarter of an inch, maybe close to three tenths of an inch of icy buildup there on those elevated surfaces. Morganton up through Lenore, Taylorsville, down through Hickory, not nearly as much the farther south and east we go, again, with mostly just that cold rain in the forecast. And with some additional snow coming in by Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, that could add up to a, a couple of inches of snowy accumulation for you all just in the mountains. Again, expect that snow again Sunday is much drier for the Panthers game highs back in the 50s tracking another round of rain some heavy flooding rain possible maybe some stronger storms next Tuesday.